In April 2022, six Chinese Y-20 transport aircrafts flew to Serbia, a country in Europe, to deliver FK-3 anti-aircraft missile systems. It is reported that within a few days, at least six more Y-20 aircrafts arrived in Serbia. If the report is accurate, how good is the Chinese FK-3 missile system? Let's dive into it. First of all it is worth highlighting the Y-20 is the largest Chinese transport aircraft. Some report claims that at least three FK-3 missile systems are delivered. Some claims that a battalion of FK-3 is now in Serbia. Serbia signed a contract with China for the missiles in 2020 and ordered CH-92 combat drones which had been delivered. The FK-3 is a medium to long-range surface-to-air missiles. All systems are set up on off-road military trucks, making it very flexible to maneuver and deploy. The FK-3 is an export version of the Chinese domestically developed HQ-22 missile system. The HQ-22 is believed to be a low-end system to pair with high-end HQ-9 missile system, this helps reducing cost and boost unit numbers. To reduce cost, the HQ-22 does not have vertical launch design, and for a few years the FK-3 system also missed out on this feature. However, it appears the FK-3 system is now upgraded to be a vertical launch system, reducing response time and improving capability of combating multiple targets. The FK-3 missile retains the domestic version's top speed of Mach 6, six times of sound speed. Its maximum range has been reduced from 170 km to 150 km, but the vertical launch version might have improved range. The system is based semi-active radar guidance with command control guidance capability. It can reportedly engage ballistic and cruise missiles, aircraft, helicopters, and drones. Demonstrations have shown that the FK-3 can shoot down target flying below 100 meters. A complete FK-3 system consists of a fire control radar vehicle and three launch vehicles. Each launch vehicle carries four missiles. Each radar can guide missiles to engage six air targets simultaneously. A long-range search radar vehicle is available to provide early warning and target information service. The FK-3 delivered to Serbia is likely to have better capability comparing with the HQ-22 in Chinese military. It is not as advanced as the HQ-9 system, but still it would be a weapon concerning any Serbia's opponent. The first six Y-20 aircrafts made three stops before landing in Serbia. They stopped at Baku in Azerbaijan, then crossed into NATO member countries Turkey and Bulgaria. Chinese Foreign Affairs Ministry spokesperson indicated after the mission that the delivery was part of the two countries' annual cooperation plan, it does not target any third parties and has nothing to do with the current European security situation. This is the first time China sent military aircrafts to deliver significant weaponries to another country. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.